you'll notice that um, unlike most videos, my phone is actually in the case because um, well, I don't get free phones from Samsung so I can make reviews. I actually have to pay the $1,800 price that this phone is to own the phone. So I bought the case and I'll give you the link to the case and tell you a little bit more about why I think this is the best case to buy for this phone. Um, let's get into drawing. Um, drawing basically comes down to these three apps. Sketchbook, Critter, and Pinup. Pinup is a great app. Um, let's see, I'm just going to try to start up a new pen up, right? Start drawing. And the thing that makes Pinup great is what I'm going to show you right now. That. See how my, my circle was imperfect? Let me draw a box. And so you can make your straight lines, your straight drawings, your straight... I mean, you see how horrible I messed that up, okay? And that's what Pinup does. And Pinup also draws straight up. Now, you'll notice, um, you, I don't know if you can tell, right? You'll notice this is the crease, right? The crease. We're in between the phone. Um, when, you, when you draw on the phone, you notice it. But if you notice, it does not affect your drawings. Um, this is a great program. It um, gives you layers, like um, there's your layers. You can make layers and, and do a whole bunch of funky stuff. Um, but we're not here to really review the program. We're here to let you know kind of if you're an artist and you like to draw and you, have a, and you, you, know, you, you want to have a phone that draws on. This is Sketchbook. This is probably the best drawing um, app that you're going to have for this phone. It's a free app, and for $2, you can get, um, you can upgrade it. Um, one thing I like about this is there's no lag. I've had drawing tablets, and what happens is they have the same, a lot of similar stats, but what they don't have is a Snapdragon um, processor, and because, the, um, because of the Snapdragon, Drawing on this is really very, very smooth. And you can tell, I mean, you're looking at it. You don't see any lag, right? So you can tell that I'm not, um, I'm not just pulling your chain. Okay. Now we're going to take a quick look at Critter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this out and record it so you can actually see because you can actually, um, well, let me make sure you can do that in this version. That's a good point. I didn't think about it. Can you do that in this version of um, Sketchbook? Well, we're going to find out. And then you also can house Critter. This is one of the very few phones that can actually house Critter. And as you see, you get, you're you getting the full Critter. Um, create a new document. And you just start going. There's pressure sensitivity. Now, there's pressure sensitivity in every program, um, but this is kind of a real, if you're in the Adobe Photoshop, this is really a very close, um, a very close imitation. Um, it does a lot of things that you can do in Photoshop. You have different filters like you do in Photoshop, different selection tools. Um, again, layers. It's, pretty much made after Photoshop, making buying Photoshop um, for your tablet really, really a waste of money. Um, Critter is a free program, and, and Pinup comes with the comes with the Z Fold. Okay. Let's see if you can turn the light off and give you a better shot. Okay. All right. Now, again, I'm just coloring in bluey. And you see, it's really, really easy to, um, to draw in this thing. It's very fun. The size of the phone is great.
Um, one thing that's great about Sketchbook, if you're an artist, is it has the time lapse recording, so you can make recordings of your drawings, and that's what I'm going to be doing, and I'll be showing it in fast forward so that you can actually get an idea of what it's like drawing on the phone, and um, also that the Snapdragon processor the uh, the power that the Snapdragon processor has. Um, this is one thing I drew. I used uh, both programs. I used. Uh, I'll give you a better JPEG of this. Well, what I did with this is I did. So now I just want to show you a feature that is really great because you don't have Photoshop on your phone. Okay, so. What you want to do is make sure that you're using uh, this internet, this one right here, right? And you would do something like, you would hold that down and you would clip subject from background. Now what I did is I just searched cat. That's how I got that image, right? And it would save image as, and then you could open, right? And I could actually go and open this in sketchbook and boom. Kitty with no background, right? And we're not going to do anything professional, but you can tell that I could just now draw behind the kitty and you know, put whatever I wanted to. Actually, if I wanted to, I could put more images, resize the kitty, and do everything that you can with um, JPEGs that, was, um, that you can do manipulate. Um, another great thing about Sketchbook is you go right here. I don't know if you can see it too well. Um, it has a, a camera, so you can actually record what do they call time lapse drawing. So if you like, you know, watching yourself draw, or if you simply want to have time lapse drawing and showing them on YouTube for your followers, you can do as such. Also, um, what we're going to do is we're going to continue doing the bluey that uh, image that we showed you and time lapse so you can actually see how it draws and get a, a feel for the speed of the snapdragon um what is that thing a processor um because if i've had drawing tablets and they they're slower so you get a feel what i'm saying is if you have the eighteen hundred dollars or more for this phone and you like to draw this pen was made by wacom so that's if you know anything about i shouldn't have to tell you anything else but this pen was made by wacom okay so it's great for drawing you'll see more as i show you the time lapse video and i'm going to shut up now so that y'all can see some drawing <laughs> 